Hello, my dear wonderful Zine students. I'm back again with a new video. This is lecture number 11 on complex analysis and it is the continuation of the last video. In my last video, I was explaining the applications of CR equations when both real and imaginary parts are in Cartesian form. In this video, both real and imaginary parts will be in polar form. Now, let us understand this topic through some numerical problems. Problem number one. If u r comma theta equal to minus r cube sine trice theta, then find out v r comma theta. Here, the problem is all about finding imaginary part when the real part is given. Here, all the steps will be same except instead of writing CR equations in Cartesian form, we have to write CR equations in polar form. Now, let us solve. Given u r comma theta equal to minus r cube sine trice theta. Step number one. Write first CR equation in polar form, which is del u by del r is equal to 1 by r del v by del theta. Now, let us replace u by minus r cube sine trice theta in this equation. So finally, we will get del del r of minus r cube sine trice theta is equal to 1 by r del v by del theta. Next, differentiate this term partially with respect to r. So finally, we will get minus 3 r square sine trice theta is equal to 1 by r del v by del theta. After simplifying, we will get del v by del theta is equal to minus 3 r cube sine trice theta. So, we will get v r comma theta is equal to integration minus 3 r cube sine trice theta d theta. Now, let us integrate this term partially with respect to theta. So, after integrating this term partially with respect to theta, we will get v r comma theta is equal to minus 3 r cube minus cos trice theta divided by 3 plus constant of integration. Here, while integrating this term, we are taking r as a constant, keeping r as a constant. So, after simplifying this part, we will get v r comma theta is equal to r cube cos trice theta plus some constant of integration. Now, let us move to step number 2. So, let us write second CR equation in polar form, which is del u by del theta is equal to minus r del v by del r. Again, replace u by minus r cube sine trice theta in this equation. So, we will get del del theta of minus r cube sine trice theta is equal to minus r del v by del r. Next, differentiate this term partially with respect to theta. So, after differentiating this term partially with respect to theta, we will get minus r cube 3 cos 3 theta is equal to minus r del v by del r. 
So after simplifying, we will get del V by del R is equal to uh, 3 R square cos 3 theta. So therefore, V R comma theta will be equal to integration 3 R square cos twice theta into d r. Now let us integrate this term partially with respect to r. So while integrating this term partially with respect to r, we have to keep theta as a constant. So we will get v r comma theta is equal to uh, r cube by 3. So finally we will get r cube cos twice theta plus some constant of integration. Equation number 2. Now let us move to step number 3. According to step number 3, we have to write down v r comma theta from equation number 1 and equation number 2 by considering repeated terms only once. Students, we have seen that in equation number 1 and equation number 2, there is a repeated term which is r cube cos twice theta. So, while writing v r comma theta, we have to write r cube cos twice theta only once. So, v r comma theta will be equal to v r comma theta will be equal to r cube cos twice theta plus some constant. And apart from that, we can calculate or we can write f of z as follows f of z is equal to u r comma theta plus iota v r comma theta so finally we get f of z is equal to u r comma theta which is minus r cube sine trice theta plus iota v r comma theta which is r cube cos twice theta plus some constant. Take. Now let us solve the second numerical problem. The problem is if v r comma theta equal to r square cos twice theta minus r cos theta plus 2 then find out u r comma theta. Here we have to find out the real part when the imaginary part is given. Now let us solve. Given v r comma theta equal to r square cos twice theta minus r cos theta plus 2. Step number 1. In step number 1, we have to write down first CR equation in polar form, which is del u by del r is equal to 1 by r del v by del theta. Now, let us substitute the expression of v in this equation. We will get del u by del r is equal to 1 by r del del theta of r square cos twice theta minus r cos theta plus 2. Del u by del r is equal to 1 by r. Now, let us differentiate this term partially with respect to theta. So, we will get r square minus twice sine twice theta plus r sine theta. Now let us simplify this term. After simplifying we will get del u by del r is equal to minus twice r sine twice theta plus sine theta. So therefore, u r comma theta will be equal to integration minus twice r sine twice theta plus sine theta into dr. Now let us integrate this term partially with respect to r. So, 
while integrating this term partially with respect to r we have to keep theta as a constant keeping theta as a constant so finally we will get u r comma theta will be equal to uh, r square by 2 so finally r square sin twice theta plus r sin theta plus some constant of integration now let us move to step number 2 in step number 2 we have to write down second cr equation in polar form which is del u by del theta is equal to minus r del v by del r next let us substitute the given expression v in this equation so finally we will get del u by del theta is equal to minus r del del r of r square cos twice theta minus r cos theta plus 2. Now let us differentiate this term partially with respect to r. So after differentiating this term partially with respect to r we will get del u by del theta is equal to minus r into twice r cos twice theta minus cos theta. Now let us simplify this term. We will get del u by del theta is equal to minus twice r square cos twice theta uh, plus r cos theta so therefore we will get u r comma theta is equal to integration minus twice r square cos twice theta plus r cos theta cos theta into d theta next let us integrate this term partially with respect to theta so while integrating this term partially with respect to theta we have to keep r as a constant keeping r as a constant so finally we will get u r comma theta is equal to minus r square sine twice theta plus r sin theta plus some constant of integration. Now let us move to step number 3. According to step number 3 we have to write down u r comma theta from equation number 1 and equation number 2 by considering repeated terms only once. Students we have seen that in equation number 1 and equation number 2 there are two repeated terms. So while writing u r comma theta we have to write these repeated terms only once so therefore we will get u r comma theta as u r comma theta is equal to minus r square sine twice theta plus r sine theta plus some constant of integration and apart from that we can express f of z as follows f of z is equal to u r comma theta plus iota v r comma theta so finally we will get f of z is equal to minus r square sine twice theta plus r sine theta plus c3 plus iota into r square cos twice theta minus r cos theta plus 2. So this is all about today's video 